Hello and welcome to Sins of a Solar Empire 2. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to run through getting started with a new game in Sins of a Solar Empire 2, as well as quickly review the user interface and heads up display, along with some very basic command and controls. This will be a video series. I'm going to attempt to keep these videos to roughly 8 to 12 minutes and outline different concepts. So this one is all about getting started. Now to begin with up here you should immediately load into a tutorials menu. For those new or returning to Sins of a Solar Empire I do recommend you run through these because they do provide very quick and basic information. A lot of this we're going to review in this video series but I just want to call this out that I would play through all of these they're pretty quick and they're going to give you a good base of command controls and other general concepts of the game. Now, let's get started. We are going to do a new game. For the video purposes, we are going to focus on single player. I tend to prefer single player anyways for these types of games. Now, once you click new game, there are several options you're going to have to make. The first is map size, small, medium, large, and huge. So pick your map size. For the purposes of this video, we're going to pick large. Now, one of the important things is we're going to have these different maps that are going to have different shapes. And one of the interesting components here is you're going to want to look at not only the players, the maximum players, planets, resources, stars, wormholes, or minor factions, but you're also going to look at design if it's custom versus generated. And this will be very important because this will determine the types of planets, kind of starting positions, etc. So for those new that might start over a couple of times, I do recommend selecting a custom design so you're used to uh, the map from that perspective. We're gonna go ahead and select gateway just for fun, no particular reason from this perspective. Uh, I just uh, like it. Now you're gonna see some of your information on bus wins. As you play more, this will fill out. I haven't actually completed anything yet uh, from that perspective. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up. We're going to go Ashret. It just looks, it caught my eye, so let's get started. Setting up your game. Now, the first thing you can do is click on your unit card character. From here, you can select your um, faction. I recommend picking one of the TECs if you're just getting started. Uh, they have kind of the normal... Uh, economic and military balance. Advent and Vasari have some more nuances to manage through, uh, which I recommend taking on once you're familiar with the game. And if you did purchase uh, the extra DLC or extra content, you might be able to play as another faction. I'm not sure if you have that option right now or not. I think that comes later. Now this is important. This color scheme right here, your primary color, is going to determine how you show up on the map. So your units will kind of look white, or they're going to look blue uh, from that perspective. This is just kind of your symbol or icon from that perspective. Secondary colors uh, will show up on some of your ships when you zoom in, um, but it's not going to have a, a major impact from there, and then you can pick your kind of unit card from that perspective. So that's getting yourself set up. Now over here, you can select what these other factions are. Um, you can actually customize them in color scheme just like ourselves, their faction traits, all this other stuff from that perspective. When you go to the right, this is their difficulty. So I actually recommend keeping this on easy if this is your first time. I'm going to throw it on medium just to get a little more of a challenge. Just for reference, this goes all the way up to impossible. These guys are super hard. I have not won an impossible game in any of this since it was Solar Empire. Random behavior. So we have random, we have aggressive or defensive. So if you are starting your first game to learn, I'd put these all on defensive so you're not having to deal with the AI. And then you can obviously remove them to reduce the number. Now, if we go over to the right, we have some map settings that you can tinker with. I wouldn't touch these unless you feel strongly about, you know, something. Uh, orbiting planets, this is a critical component of the game. You can actually lock this so there is no orbiting planet speed. Uh, but I keep it on because that's one of the elements of the game that's kind of fun from my perspective. 
Here you can see the summary of information. This is actually a much larger map than I probably should be starting with, but that's great. Down here, we can actually pick the number of teams. Now, if you are assigned to an alliance, this impacts diplomacy. So we are gonna keep this as free for all because then diplomacy will play a role. Teams, it can play a role. It's just you're, um, you're not going to be able to do as much as is you're basically on your team and you, you can't leave your team to my knowledge or at least I couldn't when I tried in a in a test run early game so with that we're going to get started we are going to try to quickly review uh, the UI here looking at time uh, we're already at five six minutes all right so the first thing is spacebar that will pause time in uh, we'll get to this in a minute. So I'm just going to pause time. And the first thing is basic controls. Mouse wheel zooms in and out, uh, which is uh, really important. You can also use Q and E to kind of zoom in and out um, to the master level or planetary view level. In the top left, this is our fleet. These are our fleets. Fleets are super important. You can add fleets. You actually left click and drag out and drop to delete fleets. So we're going to assign ships to fleets and then move fleets around um, the map together. That is super important. Moving over here, we have civilian research and military research. Civilian research is all focused on our economy and population and expansion. Military is focused on augmenting our military unlocking new structures and ships that are focused on military. We also unlock new structures um, and abilities in civics. Research is heavily important in this game. We're going to want to be building, augmenting, upgrading, and researching more and more because that will make or break winning the game. From there, we have diplomacy. So this is relevant in free-for-all. It's not quite as relevant for teams because it's harder to move teams. Uh, from that perspective and you're going to see here we know this to be true because we started the game because we set this person up we didn't we left these all as random so we're going to kind of learn as we go and explore minor factions are important in minor factions we have to use influence points you can gain influence points through particular research like mercantile envoys and other ways so keep an eye on that and we're going to expend our influence points to upgrade our reputation with these minor factions and in turn, after we obtain certain levels of reputation, we can actually purchase different things from ship items uh, to kind of abilities where we can send pirates out to raid in this particular case. Minor factions are very important, uh, so keep this in mind and don't forget to build out influence points and then use them. Military command. As you can imagine, we're gonna see all of our ships in star bases where we can easily zoom to them using the fleets or here from this perspective. This is a great view. Uh, we're gonna talk about this more once we start uh, part two of our beginner's tutorial. Colonized planets, self-explanatory. These, This is great because we can manage all of our uh, planets in kind of one tab. I actually like this when we kind of build out a lot. We can quickly upgrade different areas like um, logistics and then build structures if we want. We have to hold down control and left click if we want to build these structures uh, quickly and then we can upgrade um, different planets abilities. So we'll talk about these in a little bit. In here in the middle we have our resources. There are three primary resources credits, metal, and crystals. You can see that we're producing a little bit on our home planet each you're going to want to manage our economy, building this out more and more to fund our expansion efforts. Markets we're going to unlock. We can buy and sell crystals, and I believe we can only sell exotics, which we'll get to in a minute. Here we have trade. Um, we can export goods, metals, and crystal types to customize your economy. Um, we will have to build trade ports around to manage this, so keep this in mind. Um, but we will gain export points allow us to export stuff and then import um, you know different items in the credits metal and crystals important aspect of the economy to help manage exotics we can actually produce exotics or find them from derelicts to produce exotics we do need to research 
a critical building, um, the exotics refinery, which is right here, exotic refinery unlock. And then we'll slowly build these exotics ourselves um, or we can find them. It is important to note that exotics are used for capital ships and other structures that are really important. Here we have our time management. We can decrease speed, increase speed. I personally like keeping it at five times from that perspective. Now, if we were to zoom out future orbits, you can see here this orbit is going to change. So after a period of time, we won't be able to access this planet. And so it's really, or this sector. So it's really important that we watch future orbits. This will determine how we build our defenses um, and movement. We could have a fleet trapped here that now has a much longer way to travel back home, uh, which could be deadly depending on the timing of the rotation. We can hide the user interface just clicking escape. We can come back and then we open our menu. Here we can change our settings. And one of the most important things about this tab is looking at key bindings. So if you're trying to look at how to do something, um, you can set key bindings or view key bindings. Keep that in mind uh, from that perspective. This panel will show up for the planet you're on. It'll show all your major structures and ships. So if I click on this planet, for example, or this sector or area, we have no information, no ships uh, from that perspective. So keep that in mind. This is really useful if you want to see the ships there um, that we have on a planet. Now, when we select a planet, we're going to have this UI down here. So going left to right, if we open up this advanced panel, there are a few things we can do here we want to keep in mind. One of the most important things we're going to want to do in the game is rotating structures. So if we click this, you're going to see we can rotate all our structures around. This will be really important to do as we think about defenses and orbital rotation. So for example, I might want to shift these structures over here. So people coming in to attack us are going to be far away from our production center, so they can't damage it. So keep that in mind. Note, when you are rotating, these structures become inoperable, and you're going to have to wait. Down here, we have logistics, defense, commerce, mining, research rates. These are all very important because when we want to build things, which is the build icon right here, you're going to see we have a cap here. By upgrading logistics, for example, this will expand how many civilian orbiting structures we can have. Defense, how many military orbiting structures we have. Um, commerce is going to just impact the credit income on the planet overall. Mining will impact the mining ability of the planet, and research will impact the research abilities of the planet or area. Keep that in mind. Over here, we can see our home bonuses or disadvantages, kind of the name. Then we see the income levels here on the left. And then over here, we have our ground structures. These are limited slots, so think very carefully on what you want to put there. You're going to see this icon. This means we have to research these abilities. So you can actually look this up. It'll tell you you need to research X ability, in this case, munitions plan unlock. We can go to military and type in munitions. Um, what was that? I'm being daft now. A military five. Oh, that's really far off. So here... Command Bunker Unlock, so if we say Command Bunker, we can see Command Bunker Unlock here. So we're going to type that in to, to see what we need uh, from there. And then here we can actually survey the planet, uh, guarantees exotic iridium. Uh, we are going to want to do this um, on a regular basis when available to get those exotics because that will impact building ships. And that brings me to the build ship function right here. Now you can build ships, you know, clicking on your planet. What I like to do is actually click on my fleet and build ships, uh, which is down here to the right, and you build out your fleet. So that is some basic controls and the heads-up display. We are going to kick off a mini-series here to show you what to do and how to get started. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.